Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of air. So if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these are your messages for April 9th through the 11th, 2021. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you're able to get some clarity. Uh, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me through bill per call, just make sure that you're registered. Then you can request a call back. And if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Also be sure to check out Patreon. Uh, the Venus sign readings are there. I do those monthly as well as additional content that you may enjoy. All right, so the overall energy, I have the King of Pentacles. I have the Chariot, the Four of Cups, then I have the Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, Judgment, Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess. Now, that's funny, I see Seven Seven, and I just posted on my IG, how uh, I was, I saw the synchronicity seven seven seven. So yeah, that's funny. You you might be seeing that number. Uh, that may mean something for you. And because I did do the videos for that, uh, you might want to go back and uh, listen to it and see what it says. Um, but I'm getting that over the weekend. Um, there is a need for you to put things into perspective. Um, Something's going on where I feel like there is a need to take the high road, um, but I also feel like there's going to be victory in your situation, whatever it is. Um, I just feel like maybe you're coming out of um, you're coming out of a darkness or not necessarily depression, although it could be. But I feel like darkness as far as like the unknown, like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough for you, and I feel like you're going to have confirmation. Um, and have some sort of answers that you need to push forward or to make any type of decisions that you're going through. Um, you do, you may uh, feel the need to defend yourself though. Something could be going on where you feel like maybe you have to set boundaries or defend yourself. Romantically, I feel like some of you could be being pursued by someone. It looks like someone has been um, keeping to themselves and not ready to approach you, but it looks like maybe someone else uh, all of a sudden has like a surge to come forward and they're coming off as very focused and determined at pursuing you and having you. So for some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, maybe Cancer or someone that has moon in Cancer. Um, I feel too that either way you are finding emotional fulfillment uh, or some sort of happiness this weekend. Um, just make sure that you aren't looking at something with rose tinted glasses. Um, because matter of fact, it does seem like if you have been living a lie or uh, living in an illusion or a fantasy, I feel that that fantasy is coming down or the rose tinted glasses are coming off rather. There may be some sort of anxiety in regards to some sort of secret coming out. I don't know if you're not wanting something to get out or if someone around you is like, oh, I hope this doesn't get out. Um, it looks like maybe someone is trying to uh, cover their tracks or keep something to themselves. Now, on a positive note, it could just be a surprise. Like maybe you're getting ready to have a surprise visit. Uh, could be from a love interest or a family member. Or maybe you are the one getting ready to visit someone. Um, it also looks like if none of this plays out in reality that you're receiving some sort of messages in your dreams. You might be waking up like, man, that was a crazy dream. What did that mean? And trying to figure out, you know, what that meant, looking for the uh, symbology in that dream. Um, and, you know, dreams are kind of crazy anyway. They never really manifest the way, exactly the way it played out. But, you know, there is some truth in those dreams. So pay attention to them. 
Um, I do feel that there is some unfinished business. There's some sort of unfinished business that you may need to resolve with family uh, or with a love interest or if you have like a baby's uh, father especially may need to resolve those issues. I feel like spirit has also been trying to get your attention. Looks like you've been trying to avoid your past. I feel like you're being haunted by your past. Some sort of past issues keep resurfacing and that's because you keep avoiding them. So I feel like it's going to continue to be a cycle or a pattern until you deal with these issues. But definitely looks like you're trying to outrun or outsmart um, your past, but it just keeps coming back up and creeping back up some way, shape or form. Um, there's still secrets. I'm getting the energy of secrets. So either you are keeping secrets from someone or someone's keeping secrets from you. Romantically, I feel like a man is avoiding a woman because he feels like she's unattainable. Um, there's something's going on where he just feels like he can't be with that woman. But I feel like that's just an illusion, whatever his doubts or insecurities are. Or you as a guy watching, you know, those are, I don't know, it's a mind over matter type situation. Um, again, you're being asked to trust your judgment. You, the darkness thing, that's coming out again because... Like I said, I feel like you are wanting the answers to something, but I feel like, let's say you want to know the outcome of a situation. You're like, am I going to get this job or am I going to get a new job? Am I going to find someone? Am I going to have a relationship? Like certain things can't be answered because it depends on your actions or things are just still unfolding. And so there is no answer because it, it could shift or change. It depends. So something isn't quite etched in stone. Um, maybe you are dating multiple people and you're like, okay, I got multiple offers. Like, who's the best person for me? In that situation, I feel like it's kind of up to you. Like, you just need to uh, put things into perspective and figure out what it is that you're looking for going forward. What are the most important, you know, Things that you're looking forward in uh, that you need to have in a relationship and you just move forward with the person that you feel best fits that description. Um, or maybe you want to play something by ear. Maybe you just want to follow your heart and you're like, you know what? I don't know the answers. I don't feel like uh, taking an assessment. I'm just going to do what I feel like I need to do. And that's okay, too, because the high priestess also is about that. She's also like, hey, just kind of go with the process and you know, you're intuitively, you're making some sort of decision whether you know it or not. Um, your intuition or your empathic abilities may also be heightened this weekend. I feel like someone's also trying to sneak away, sneak out get away with something maybe that's just someone's kid maybe someone's uh, lying about their where they're going I feel like someone's lying about where they're going or where they're headed if someone's taking a vacation this weekend or if they're going out of town this weekend I feel like they're not being honest with where they're going uh, this also could be you maybe you're just you know you're like uh, yeah I'm going to a convention and it's like no you're going to see somebody somebody is uh, not telling the truth about who they're in love with for whatever reason and I feel like this person might be considered to be foreign in a sense maybe not necessarily for from a foreign country but just foreign to um, the norm. Or what your family was expecting. It's like you're going against whatever they anticipated. I 
feel like you guys might be daydreaming about a love interest or wondering if you're going to find love or fall in love or wondering if someone's thinking about you. I feel like if you're wondering how someone feels about you or if they feel the same, uh, I would say yes. They just, the both of you may not be vocal about it. So you're both kind of suffering in silence. Yeah. Mm. I feel like someone is also someone is lonely or is not really happy or fulfilled so I got this I just got this similar uh, message too I think it was the earth sign reading where if somebody is in a relationship they're not really happy they're just letting time go by just just out of boredom just whatever there someone's not really happy they're just in a relationship to be in a relationship or they're in a relationship but their heart really isn't in it I feel like they want to escape they want an out if there is some sort of an argument I feel like it was done intentionally um, yeah matter of fact it does look like someone is sabotaging something on purpose uh, as an excuse to get out so if someone is doing something like cheating and they leave their phone out on purpose with the messages unlocked I feel like someone wanted to get caught they're like oh damn you caught me guess that means we're breaking up you know so <laughs> it's like that was done on purpose um, and then overall, I do feel like someone is hoping to get caught. It's like, I hope they c catch me. I hope they are on to me. Um, so it makes, it just makes me feel like someone is being sloppy on purpose or leaving out breadcrumbs and getting sloppy on purpose. The only thing I don't like is that is if someone is trying to get your attention indirectly, that they're still doing it indirectly. And and even if you have a clue of who it is or you have a clue of what's going on, it's like, okay, but am I going to get solid confirmation of that? For some of you, I feel like you are. Others of you, I, I feel like you're not. You're still going to be in the dark. Even though your intuition is telling you yes, it's like you're not going to get that solid confirmation that you're looking for. I feel like there's someone that is kind of running through your mind like you can't seem to stop thinking about this person yet not have courage to confront them or these are their feelings matter of fact it does look like someone is at a distance and they're watching and they keep playing a scenario over and over again in their mind either about the past or about what could happen it's like playing thinking about all these different scenarios how it could play out so it's giving somebody anxiety because it's like uh, I don't know what if it goes this way what if it happens this way um, I feel like there is a need for you to just kind of if you're the one debating and going over and over in your head about something there is a need for you to just go ahead and take a risk with something I feel like someone just needs to not care what other people would think because that's another thing someone's worried about what other people are gonna think and it's like you should just worry about you and then in the clarifiers with the two of cups I feel like again a connection is mutual like both people feel the same way for each other Something is making you remember how you used to feel.
Hmm. I also feel like maybe someone someone is pretending to be like your friend, but their intentions are something more. Um. So it could it could go either way. It could be something like someone's just getting close to you so that they can know your secrets, so that they can steal something from you. Like it, more so like your ideas or something. Um, or someone is wanting to just be cordial with you or saying that, that they just want to be friends or they want to catch up. Uh, but actually this person wants a relationship. But they're trying to feel you out and see what you think first before they admit to wanting to be in a relationship. They want you to say it first. Like if you be like, Yes, I'm interested in a relationship or um, I want to, you know, get back together or, you know, something like that. As long as you come out first, that's what this person is waiting for. And I feel like they also are trying to find some sort of clever way to get you to admit something first. There is some sort of mind games going on. It does seem like there's a level of immaturity. Um, I feel like someone's also being very playful. Yeah, someone's also being very playful or trying to be fun or have fun with it. They're like, just have fun with this. I don't know. I just kind of feel like somebody's like, come play with me. Don't you want to play with me? So, yeah. <laughs> um, and then maybe this is this person's best way this is the best way that they know how to get your attention is by doing these things that are immature. And you're like, oh, why didn't you just say this? Or why did you, why do I have to play a guessing game? Or why do I have to, you know, and it makes me think of, you know, back in the day, do you like me writing that on a piece of paper talking about check yes or check no, you know, and so I'm passing you the note. You know, I just kind of feel like something is going on like that. <laughs> and then like if you check no they'll be like I was just taking a survey I don't like you either you know just whatever um, but I, I just kind of feel like someone is finding some sort of playful creative yet childish way to get you to be friends again or to open up um, with this person I feel like something's just you know happening out of the blue and like I said so for some of you this is about a surprise visit you might be surprised that of how many people are in on a secret because they're wanting to surprise you they're like just don't tell them that you know I'm doing this or that for them or that I'm on the way so and it could be fit just family members it doesn't have to be a love interest Cause it's making me think of the time where uh, like a bunch of my relatives came into town and um you know we were in on it but we couldn't tell my mom so my brother it was like a cheesy excuse he was like uh the mailman said you gotta certify for a package you gotta sign it i tried to sign it for you <laughs> so she went to the door and then it was just like her whole family standing outside that was such a cool day Yeah, so the High Priestess does indicate that someone's been working on something in secret. Something's been developing. Um, I know people don't develop, don't really do that anymore, developing photos, but someone may work in development, um, some sort of photography development, maybe film development, editing, uh, career why something about someone's career may be like behind the scenes so so someone isn't like necessarily a you know in a spotlight but they work behind the scenes they're someone's makeup artist they're uh the editors the you know the production assistants they're the people that bring the magic together um 
So that could be you or maybe you're dealing with the person that works behind the scenes. But if it's not about like career, it's it's like someone's been planning something in a dark or, you know, be, that you don't know. Other people know, but you're in a dark about it. And I feel like nothing can be said until this secret comes out. You know, it's like you could, just got to wait. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something about being prepared. Spiritually, again, I'm getting like the dreams. Pay attention to those dreams. Um, it's like maybe someone is visiting you during sleep or communicating with you. Hmm. I feel like something's also been in a long time making. Something's been developing for a while now. Um, some sort of plans have been going on. Someone's been very analytical and very detailed about their work. Someone also maybe likes to work in private or has been saving up their money or has like a secret stash of money. Someone's been saving up for something. I also feel that someone's been saving themselves for someone. Um, so someone's been celibate for a minute. All right, let's look at some additional messages for you guys. All right, what additional messages are there for my air size, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. We have man holding a heart, action, hostilities, overall energy, angel of balance. Um, okay, so I feel like the overall energy is about getting back centered. It looks like maybe someone is planning on sharing something with you, giving you a gift. Um, I just feel like someone is also acting innocent in a sense. They're being nice uh, or pretending to attract you. Someone also has been using like an attraction spell or doing some sort of attraction spell work. Or even if it's you, somebody's been doing that. And I feel like it's working, but only because it's something that was you know already written or something that was meant to be. Um, you're also being encouraged to be vulnerable and share your heart or pursue your dreams. Now, if you are being pursued, it, it looks like, you know, whoever is having feelings towards you, they're taking some sort of steps. They're, they're making moves. So I do feel like when someone is ready, um, the minute they have some sort of encouragement or they, they see some sort of sign, they're like, that's it, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm coming towards you. So I feel like someone's getting ready to pursue you or you may be getting ready to pursue someone or like I said, your dreams. Now, on the way to happiness, I feel like you're gonna be met with some sort of blockage or like a snag. And I feel that it's miss interpretation there's miscommunication um it also feels like denial or self-deception you may be telling yourself that you don't feel this way about this person but that's not true I feel like you're coming off defensive more so because you want to protect your heart a romance also may start off with someone who was initially someone that was like an enemy or someone you didn't like or someone who you've been petty with. It's, you know, let's say every time you see this particular person, y'all got jokes for each other. Y'all roasting each other 
And it's like, oh, I can't stand that person. Oh, you get on my nerves, blah, blah, blah. And then just one day, you guys just start kissing. And it's just like, I knew that was some BS. So something is kind of like on the borderline between love and hate. Think of like a dial. And to, on this side, it's love. And 180 degrees over here is hate. But then if you turn it like a little degree over, you're back in love. Like something is like a fine line between uh, love and hate. And I kind of feel like that is what you're experiencing. Like your love interest is hot and cold, is genuine loved. And then it's also just like this anger or hatred or hostile energy. Um, there's a need for you to strategize and think clearly. Don't speak out of anger or out of context. Just try to control whatever whatever it is that you're thinking about because it could be misinterpreted. And then I see you having a door to value. So whatever's going on, I feel like you're being led to whatever it is that gives you a sense of value whether it's a person or a career. This hostilities energy also makes me think of people who don't want to see you happy or enemies that you'll come across on your path to happiness. So be prepared. There's also a need for you to distinguish what you're feeling, distinguish energies that you're feeling. Is someone a friend or an enemy? What are you feeling? Do you feel neutral energy? So I feel like pay, you need to pay attention to how you feel when you're around certain people. Yeah. One last thing I'm getting is that the truth is going to set you free. You're going to have clarity. Something's going to be put out into the open. Yeah. All right, so hopefully those messages uh, have resonated. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.